Hi guys, welcome back to Algorz. In this video, we are going to discuss a question named Maximum Absolute Difference. And this question says that we have been given an array which contains n integer values. Now what we need to do is we need to find the maximum value of the expression modulus of ai minus aj plus modulus of i minus j where i represents i and j represent the valid index inside the given array and ai and aj represent the value stored at index i and index j respectively so we need to implement a function which gives us the maximum value of this expression for uh, considering every pair of i and j inside this given array so let's discuss the brute force approach first now in the brute force approach what we are going to do is first of all we are going to consider the elements as a0 a1 till a of n minus 1 and to compute the maximum value i am taking a variable maximum and i am in initializing it to 0 so what i am going to do is i am going to, uh, for every index i i am going to iterate over this whole array and i am going to compute the value of this expression and I'm going to check whether the value which I have computed is greater than the value stored inside the variable maximum. If this condition becomes true, then I'm going to update the value of this variable maximum. So at the end of my function, I'm going to return the, va the value stored inside this variable. Now, what I'm doing is that I'm going to iterate over all the indices one by one and for every index i i am iterating over the array again so it will it would cost me n more iterations for every index i so total iterations becomes equals to n square so my time complexity becomes of the order of o of n square so this is a bit costly for this question now let us discuss a better approach to solve this question so basically I am going to use some mathematics concept to reduce the expression into a better format. So I have considered four cases and the first case says that I, given the value of ai is greater than a of j, the value of i is greater, greater than the value of j. So for the first case, if we want to find the value of this expression, we can write it as a of i minus a of j as the value of ai is greater than, a, greater than the value of a of j so we don't need to apply any negative sign here plus i minus j as i is greater than j now the second case says that ai is less than a of j so we are going to apply a negative sign after resolving the modulus and similarly we are going to apply a negative sign before i minus j now the third case ai minus a of j plus i minus j now the fourth case ai is greater than aj so we don't need to apply any negative sign plus minus of i minus j so let's find the better format for this expression we can write it as ai plus i minus a of j plus j second expression it says that aj minus a of i so we have minus of a of i plus i plus a of j plus j now third case third case says that we have a of j minus a of i plus i minus j so we have i minus a of i minus j minus a of j now the fourth case the fourth case says that we have a i minus a of j plus j minus i 
So we have a of i minus i minus a of j minus j. So these are the four cases. Now what we need to do with these cases is that first of all let's consider their first two cases. So exactly what I'm going to apply is I'm going to take two variables max1 and min1 and I'm going to iterate over my given array it contains elements from index 0 to n minus 1 and I'm going to compute the maximum value of the expression a of i plus i and similarly the minimum value of this expression only and after computing the maximum and minimum value I'm going to get the difference between them so for the first case we would get the maximum value for any index i and j now similarly for second case what we would find is that there is only a negative sign and else all the elements and their signs are same as in the first case so we can write second case as minus of a of i plus i minus a of j plus j so this is nothing but equivalent to the first case as we are computing the maximum value and the minimum value similarly in this case i would compute the minimum value here and then the maximum value for this expression so here i would calculate the maximum value here i would calculate the minimum value now when i subtract both of them i would get the maximum result for second case so basically our second case is a redundant case as the first case would give the same answer as in the second case. Similarly for the third case I would consider variables max2 and min2 and I am going to calculate the value of ai minus i for every, every, you know, every element inside the array and its index and after calculating the maximum value and the minimum value I am going to compute the difference between the maximum and the minimum value here now like the first and the second case these two cases are also similar as there is only a negative sign which has been multiplied so if we multiply our minus 1 with third case we would get the fourth case only so for third case is a redundant case inside this inside this expression so we have two expression at the end of this discussion first expression being a of, a of i plus i minus a of j plus j and the second expression being a of i minus i and a of j minus j so we have two expressions and for both the expressions we need to find the max1 and min1 value and max2 and min2 value now after I compute these two values I am going to return the value of maximum of max1 minus min1 and max2 minus min2 so in short what I am going to do is I am going to iterate over this whole array and I am going to compute the value of max1, min1 and max2 and min2 simultaneously so I am taking n iterations here and after computing these four values I am going to return the maximum among the difference between difference between them so the time complexity for this approach would be O of n as I am taking n iterations and the space complexity would be of the order of O of 1 as I am not taking any extra extra array to compute the value of this expression. So this is a much better approach to solve this question. So this is all for this video. Thank you guys for watching this video.